Okay folks, there isn't much left to do now apart from test fit it and get ready to button everything up. This is the cockpit, as you saw me try and explain how I've done it. You can do wiring at the back of the uh, um, instrument panel, there is enough space to do that if you wish to do so, I'm not going to. I advise you paint it black as well because you can see down behind it slightly, hence why you could possibly do the wiring. This section here just gets slot into place. It's actually a real tight, good fit. Um, even the cockpit goes in just above it. And this is a su su superb tight fit as well. Literally holds itself in place. This is no glue. And then we're going to button it up two halves. It's a nice, nice fit all around. I do recommend you paint all of these parts, like you see here. Um, don't forget to put your supercharger part in, which I've already gone in the head and kind of painted, which is a metal grey and Tamiya brown wash. You don't see an awful lot anyway. Your tail wheel goes in the back here. Again, nice, nice fit. Still a little bit of clean up to do. Hence wire you could see behind the instrument panel why I'd say put it black and our next step is to button this up okay we're going to do a wash now for the interior section we're going to use enamel wash I recommend using enamel because it works perfectly fine I've tried different thinners and stuff and it reacts with the paint they're using so you need to use something that doesn't react with the, the paint enamel works fine over the top of Tamiya acrylics and stuff or whatever it is we're using Abtylon smoke it's a brand new tube get a pea sized piece in the bottom of the jar it's probably way too much but ne never mind don't worry about the linseed oil or whatever oil they use in there normally you uh, separate it You want some of your enamel thinner. Get some from the pet. And then just mix it in until you find the consistency of like milk. So we run it up the side of the glass, you see it's sticking, so it's still a little bit thicker than I would like it. Get in there. I think that looks all right to me. It's running down the glass nicely. So basically, carefully, just go over the whole of the uh, said area. You want to make the wash and grimy. It does bead up quite a bit. Um, if you're worried about beading up too much, then you can just Go over it and take off some excess with a cotton swab. So literally everywhere. Don't forget anywhere. Even your doors. It's going to dry back for a little while, at least 24 hours. It's going to give that grimy, dirty look. Um, so we're going to work on the wings and you want to really test fit these wings 
because you can get tiny bits of imperfections in the moulding. This is perfectly fine, nice tight fit, goes around lovely. I wouldn't glue it all in one go, I'll do it in sections, clamp it. <coughs> and this is what we've come up with. Totally overkill probably, but I want to get it nice and tight. Um, normally with larger wings I'd use the thicker glue from Tamiya. We use extra thin. Correspond to down the, the leading edge. Let the capillary reaction do its thing. Squeeze carefully. Well, get the glue all over you. Let that tack. Again, do it away from you so it's gravity pulls it in. You don't want to do it like this because it can run down and you're always guaranteed you're going to get a thumbprint or whatever. So I tend to try and do it away from me. Carefully squeeze to get the bite. Dab there, completely reaction can let it flow. Along this section here, where the flap would go into. So clamp it up as tight as we can get. Right, like popping apart. Can make sure I've got no fingerprints anywhere. If you do, don't worry about it, leave it, just let it dry, and you can come back and sand it. Last thing people do is try and fix it while it's wet and make more of a mess and create more problems. So, this one here, don't go too far back on the wing because if you push at the back, it can splice the wing open. So, try and get it as close to the edge as possible. These segments here are some extra wing fillets, absolute superb fit. Nicely fitted, this one's exactly the same, this one has a little bit of a bulge, hence that's for the light. Goes in there, nicely done. So wings have come out reasonably well. I haven't got much gaps. Leading edge needs a little bit of cleanup, which we just do with the sanding stick, like sand. Tail planes were molded as one piece, so it's just cleaning up the tabs. Glued down the second half of the uh, fuselage, same way. So once this is dry, we can test fit and make sure the wings fit nicely. I did test fit them before and multiple times, just keep test fitting, test fitting and you can crack on and get through there nicely. Okay, the wings have had over 24 hours to cure and we've got a quite rough leading edge, it's where the glue's come out slightly. So what we're going to do to take care of that, get my knife, scrape clean, some of this access off. Come with a medium sander. If you're using floury sticks, the green one. We're gonna take care of the uh, roughness. These are dual-sided. These are a little bit coarse, and this is like a more finer polisher. And then, so we we'll polish it, get out the excess, wipe it down, 
And then we go in even from fine polish art. This is coarser side. This is completely smooth. Buff the head out of it. And then the last side completely buff it. And then once you start to hear that squeakiness, it means the plastic is getting really, really smooth and polished. And that gives a nice edge. There's a little bit of roughness there. But that's the basics of the wings. This one's already done. They're all ready to go on, on the fuselage halves. I've done exactly the same clean up on here and taken rescribing, clean down the spine. The underside is all taken care of the best I can. Rescribe some of these panel lines. Um, if I start to put the aircraft together, we have a we have a nose. This is the uh, wings. Tail planes. We have the uh, little rudder piece at the bottom. So this this way up. The fit is really good. Last piece in. Come on. And now we're starting to get a thunderbolt. It's starting to look its part. It's looking really good. I like it. First time I built this Tamiya thunderbolt type kit. Highly recommend this, it's a nice build. So the next step is to finish off some more detail parts, add the rudders, glue all these wings in, and then it's ready for paint and primer and everything else.